This video is the follow-up to a previous video I made about converting your RGB artwork into CMYK using Procreate. When would you want to convert your artwork's colour mode? Well, CMYK actually stands for Cyan, Magenta, Yellow, Black. It's the colour mode for printing. So RGB actually means red, green, blue, and it's a digital format. So whenever you want to print out your artwork, you need to be in CMYK mode. Obviously, it's always a good idea to set up your document with the right settings to begin with, but more often than not, creativity strikes. Before you know it, you've made an amazing design that you know you want to print out, but you realize you created it in RGB color mode and it needs to be in CMYK. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as just the click of a button to change color modes in Procreate. So that's what that original video is all about. I take you through a workaround for converting color modes without leaving Procreate. So if you want to check out that original video, the link is above or in the description below. So that first video got a ton of comments and questions from people saying that their colors were now dull and muted after the conversion. They were asking for help on how to improve this and make it more like the original RGB version. Well, I have a solution for that, but before we get there, I do want to point out that is completely normal. The CMYK color profile isn't as diverse as the RGB profile. It has a different range of colors that represent what a printer can actually produce. So it's a section of the RGB palette. The RGB palette is for digital and that is more diverse. So it's to be expected that you'll see a difference in vibrancy after the conversion. Another thing that is important to mention as well is it does matter what file format you export your converted CMYK file in. JPEG and PNG for example are digital file formats and they're not actually a good choice for CMYK. If you're working in CMYK I recommend that you export your file in a PSD format so this will preserve the color accurately and it won't compress any file information either. Most professional printers will accept PSD files and you'll also be able to view it in your Photos app as well. If you want to know more about file types and which ones to choose for what scenario in Procreate, there's a free cheat sheet just below in the description that you can grab and you can make sure that you're choosing the right file type for what you need. So how do you adjust the colors in your CMYK file? So first we're going to open back up that PSD file with the CMYK colors and I'm going to make a duplicate version of the layer here so that we're not overriding the original and we can compare it later as well. Something else that could be a good idea to do before you get into the color changing is just check the brightness of your iPad. So just set mine to about 70 to 80 percent which is uh, strong enough and bright enough without oversaturating. So as you can see, there's quite a big difference in the colors between the CMYK version and this original RGB version. If you go to your adjustments menu here, you can choose hue, saturation and brightness, and that will allow us to adjust the vibrancy of the colors. We can increase the brightness and the saturation here and play around with those settings. The hue will change the color tone completely, so that might not be the one that you want. Be careful not to go too far though because you don't want to oversaturate the colors. So another good one that you can play around with as well for this is curves. So back in the adjustments menu just choose curves and set the top button to gamma which will strengthen all the channels equally and give you a brighter image overall. Once you're done and you're happy with your image, you can compare it with the original version, see that you've made an improvement, and then export it again as a PSD file. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment below. It helps the YouTube algorithm know it's worth watching. And of course, if you have any questions, please just drop that in the comments below. Thanks and speak to you soon.